Now, rather than go through the different types of mediumship and the different types of healing that are possible, I just want to explain perhaps how it generally works and then you'll understand what's going on in terms of the possibilities. Here's you, the medium. Here's my spirit body as the medium. Here's my material body. Here's the spirit who's wanting to connect with me in their spirit form. There's their soul, there's their spirit form. Remember their soul condition controls what kind of information they can give to you. Remember your soul condition controls what kind of information you can receive from them. Now, usually most mediumship occurs by the person here in the spirit world relaying a message into your mind or in some cases into your ear which you may actually hear and then you through your mind's your mind your spirit body's mind controls your brain and you express that message to the world in some way probably to a person that's sitting opposite you or something like that or if it's a if it's an automatic writing, the spirit will actually control your spirit body's mind to control your brain to control your arm, and you'll just start writing that way. If it's automatic writing, so you could call that type of mediumship just normal mediumship. Trans mediumship is when you step back from your spirit form, from your material form. Sorry. So here's this here's the super cord connection. You step back from that, it's like you going into a sort of a semi-sleep state or what people would call the trance state. And the spirit body, they can then connect through this silver cord connection straight into your physical body. In other words, they can, to an extent, take over your physical body. Take over your voice, take over your mind, and away it goes. And sometimes you can observe it, so you can step back and observe the whole process. Or you could actually be having a conversation with another person in the spirit world while it's actually going on. So that's another method that can be used. But the most powerful method of communication, which is not yet being done on earth very much at all, is a soul-to-soul -soul communication. And that's what we want to develop our divine love mediums into doing soul to soul communication. What happens there is huge packets of information flow from one soul to the other soul at light at at super super light speeds. In other words, huge amounts of information occur over a period of just tiny little gaps in time. And so a spirit can then burst you with this information that you spend the next five hours writing. Right? And I've only spent, ten, let's say, one second of our time transmitting it to you. And that is a very effective form of communication. In fact, that's the type of communication you will have with everyone around you when you're a celestial spirit. And you are a celestial spirit on earth when you become born again, when you make that transition between the seventh and the eighth sphere. This will become your ability to transmit to other people here on earth using that method. Also You're, back to spirit? And also back to spirit, yes. Um, They have to be in the same, uh, not, they don't have to be in the same soul condition as the transmitter, but but the closer you, this gets to, the closer you get, the medium gets to an atonement condition, the more information can be transmitted at once, and then when you get to the soul condition of where you're where you're at one, obviously now you can be in constant contact. So it's not so much for communicating. It's great, yeah, there's, there's literally thousands or millions and millions and millions of books in the spirit world 
none of which are here on earth because there's no medium that can transmit them. There's literally <coughs> millions of books on scientific things that there's no scientist here on earth in a, who's a good enough medium that can transmit them. There's literally millions of books on spiritual development, on the natural love and divine love paths, but nobody here on earth is in good enough condition to actually transmit them. When you're getting that condition, your ability to do that. So many of you will finish up writing books that are not your books. They'll actually be books in the spirit world that are being transcribed through you and, and that will help this, this gathering of information where the spirit world and the earth world gets closer and closer until we are a seamless thing. It's a seamless thing. So what's actually going to happen over the coming years is we'll get to the point where there'll be this soul-to-soul -soul transmission. Once that, occur once that starts occurring, there will also be another thing occurring, and that is you'll be actually sitting here on Earth having conversations with spirits who are also sitting with you on Earth. There's another thing that will occur as well, and that is you will be sitting here on Earth out of body as a group having conversation with spirits in the spirit world and you'll be totally conscious of what's going on. Those things are all possible. And they will all become possible through the development of soul condition. Does that make sense, Sarah? Yes. So it's really exciting, eh? Hey? Very exciting. There's huge amounts of really, really good information in all these different areas that you can think of. Music, art, poetry, all these different areas that all could be transmitted to Earth if people were in the condition of doing it.